this is a type of extruder head hot end I have S same as this one here's some I'm using 3mm filament so if I push this into there I mean when it's on the actual hot end it has to get past this top end first of all although I have put a bit of a chamfer on there to help it even if I put a angle on the filament let me try and get past that see even there just and then it sticks that is sticking there about halfway that's about the height of the throat up there and then if I get past that it sort of sticks on the edge of the nozzle and it's only if I push it right down to the tip that I can get to work at all so this hot end is a pile, 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 pile of filament. That's what it is. Because the rubbish. See that sticks. Or that should go, it should basically go all the way down there. Okay. And I tried to straighten out the curve in the filament. Put a bit of a chamfer on it or a bit of a point on it to get past. But see, even just there, that's sticking on that. And then I can feel it sticking there at that stage. Well, that's about where it should be going, a little bit further than that. But it's sticking all the time. And then it stops printing, then it jams, and then you can't get the feed. And you have to start again, you have to melt out all of rubbish plastic that gets jammed in there and all sorts so I was told this is a J head to be honest I'm not sure there's no PTF tubing in this at all actually you can take this off if you bear with me so you've got this sort of throat there change the lighting a bit Okay. and as the filament's coming through it actually sticks on this edge then it might stick on the edge of the, the nozzle and that's even if it sticks on this edge as it's going through the boarding tube sort of nozzle uh, clamp thing pressure valve thing so at every single stage the filament is jamming and sticking If you get past one stage it sticks on the other, if you get past that stage it sticks on the other and so on and so on and so on. So basically I've had, I'm having to start this again. Right I've just finished printing this out, it's a heaven born gear. And I don't think there's any warpage on this. can't see any, this does have a raft, as you can see. One thing about putting a raft on this, so as I know it's quite easy to come off. As you can see, I can just pull it off. I, uh, I'm not sure if that's a bit of warpage or the raft, more raft on that side. So it's left the raft round that side on the bottom as opposed to this side and I think what stopped the warpage you might just make it out on this print bed see this very faint I'll try and get the light a bit better you might see that line there like some squares I print out it's only about one layer thick but that goes all the way around the outside and it helps you check the level because then you can see if it's laying down all the way around the bed. And I just printed that out just before this. Well, a, a few prints of that to adjust the bed a little bit. And I still need to do something probably with the layer in. As you can see, probably see there the layers. And I'll cut that off. I think you can see that.
it's almost like one layer is not sticking to another and when I was looking at this previous model I've cleaned up a little bit was going around the edges here and it seems like on this side the layers seem to be sticking together but on the other side I can separate the layers as you see so there's something not quite right about that um, I've noticed that the nozzle is leaking quite badly actually from the sides or where it joins onto the throat or whatever I can't really tell at the moment because it's halfway through the print as you see Let's see if this will pull into focus If it's not one thing with this printing nozzle thing, it's another thing with this extruder wire, the hot end, let's call it a hot end. Because the film will jam as it's going into here, in the top, the Gold Fresh filament. It'll jam as it reaches the throat inside, and then it'll jam as it reaches the edge of the nozzle. And it's only if I push it, the filament really in and struggle pushing it in up and down sometimes, even though I've got the filament like trimmed at a bit of an angle, etc, etc, etc. I'm still having to force it down while it's cold, right down to the tip and then screw it all together when it's like that, that I can get to work at all. If this filament breaks as it did earlier on for me, it did break, I had to dismantle it all, take it all out, melt the plastic out that was in here and then we feed it right down to the tip. There's no point just sticking it in the top of here because it will just jam and it's forever jamming. This is 3mm filament. Well that's absolutely terrible. The amount of lift over here Actually, you can lift that up. Look, I'm going to stop it because there's a time going much more. Okay, it's finished and I've given it a few seconds or so to cool. Let's see. Yes, and look at that. You can see how that is totally split in there. Ridiculous. Oh, here it is finished. Looks like a dollop of stuff that's probably come off the use of the head. Comes off the plate quite easy. Can I separate? Yeah, right. I'm going to look up a different model instead of this one actually. As you see, just falling apart. Hmm. Quite almost hollow in there. That part going in. 